Especially when we work with women uh, in um, poor communities and especially when we work with women of a certain age. I think there is this issue of the age. I know many girls and young women, they are already being raised and even educated, uh, even if not fully engaged in, in technology development, but at least comfortable in using it. It's part of their education, it's part of their reality and their interaction with other youth and, and, and young people and so on. But for women of a, another generation, uh, I would say even my generation, not only my mother's generation, there is an issue and a, a kind of a phobia and a, a feeling of not uh, belonging to this world of technology, okay? And this is something that we, we meet a lot in our work. Uh, I, we, I interviewed a woman once and we were doing a, a video, a documentary, with a group of women that was being trained for the use of uh, uh, internet and was being introduced to this uh, world of computers and internet. And she said to me, uh, the closer, the closer I, 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 get, I got to a computer before coming here to this group was when I had to clean it because she worked in somebody else's house. And I was so afraid of breaking it that I avoided you know, taking the dust out of the computer. And uh, I knew I should clean, but I was so scared of touching those little pieces and breaking. I know this is a very expensive material. And, uh, I, and for the first time, she was being able to touch it, to try it, to see what happened. And, that was, and realize that it was not different from cooking or from cleaning the house or from using other kinds of tools that were part of their, uh, the, her everyday life. So we face this uh, challenging, uh, the, this challenge of overcoming this fear when we work with uh, women in, in the poor communities and rural areas, and especially uh, women of a, a, a certain age, above 40 years old or something like that. When we try to do, and I, I think that it, what is important is to tell stories for women about technology, okay? This is not something so strange for women at all. And uh, indigenous women know that. It's easier uh, to raise this awareness among indigenous women because they are practicing it. They are with their hands on uh, in producing material, in transforming material into other things. This is technology that they are developing. But women in the city some, somehow uh, feel very um, far from this reality because they are consuming things that are ready and they are being produced and developed by others who um, they imagine that own some kind of knowledge that they don't. So what we try to do is tell stories about the origins of this myth that women uh, don't belong to the world of technology, especially um, um, going back in the past and uh, revisiting some of the studies that, are, are, that have been uh, done and developed by scholars and translating it in a very accessible language uh, about uh, how women in the, for example, prehistorical period uh, were responsible for carrying a child and at the same time collecting food in collective societies and how they developed the ways of uh, having, carrying the food while also carrying uh, the child, uh, developing kinds of bags with uh, skins of animals or uh, even uh, uh, developing other kind of, co of, 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 of um, material to carry food. Uh, this is the kind of story that we tell them. Also, um, revisiting some uh, understandings and uh, some findings of archaeology that show, for example, uh, pictures of men hunting. And uh, when uh, women archaeologists and anthropologists came to analyze this kind of picture, they understood that that image of violence and hunting where the main character in the picture, in the painting, were supposedly men, actually were women uh, in rituals for the fertility of the earth. Okay? So there are very different views of our past, and we must be aware of that. 
Okay, these stories that we are used to, to, to hear to or to read when we are in school and the, that, that story that are told for generations about our past, they are not necessarily true. There are other stories to be told where women have a very prominent role and a very uh, active role in developing technology and knowledge and art so, and so on. So I think this is important to uh, rescue in order to change our, our view of our role in this world of technology.